Matthew Johnson the field here at Cobra Taekwondo, and in this video, we're going to go over three exercises that you can use today to help improve the power of your thinking. <music> Exercise number one for today is jumping from the kneeling position. So this helps generate a lot of power because you have to extend your hips, your glute, and your quad all in one explosive motion to get yourself off the ground, very similar to the extension of a roundhouse or side kick or front kick, any kick that you have that full extension, and not so much a spin kick, but more of a roundish style or extension where you're gonna use the hip and not the posterior chain. So as you can see, here, what you're doing is you're kneeling down and you're going to violently thrust the hips slightly forward as you explode up, landing on your feet in a low squat position and then gently lower yourself back down to the starting position and keep doing for various sets and reps in a very explosive manner. Exercise number two for today is plyometric lunges. This helps develop a lot of explosive power from the toes all the way up through the calf, the knee joint, your quads, your hamstrings, your gluteus, your hip flexors. It just allows you to have explosive, boom, extension power. But mainly a lot of the power comes from the ground. So, and to get the power that we need to go up through the body, we have to transfer the power from the ground through the, the toe, through the foot through the calf and through all the leg muscles into your core. So as you can see in this video right now, you wanna explode up and then land softly, switch your feet. Explode up, switch your feet, landing soft. It's really important that you land soft so you don't slam your joint into the ground. Exercise number three for today to help you increase your power and your ticking is ticking a heavy bag at full force. The human body is very specific in that whatever we do, whatever we train it for, it will adapt, become very proficient, and become better at that movement. It will become faster, it will become stronger, it will simply become better by practicing that specific skill. Runners practice running, sprinters practice sprinting, tinkers should be practicing kicking, boxers practice boxing. It's very, the human body is very specific and will adapt to whatever you put it through. So as you can see in the video now, just practicing, let's say we're practicing a roundhouse kick, you're basically just letting it rip. You know, you're using proper biomechanics, so, so for the roundhouse, you're twisting that bottom foot as far behind as you can to open up the hip, and you're extending the, the roundhouse kick with the quad, extending your toes, hitting with the top of the instep and a little bit of the shin, as well as using the quad muscles to snap forward, using the hamstrings and the gluteus to pull back, as well as you're putting your hip and your torso into the tick. But practicing the skill specifically will help increase the power. So there you have it. Those were three pretty easy but very effective exercises that you can use today to help improve the power of your thinking. So make sure you get practicing those, and before long you'll see a uh, definitive uh, increase in power in your thinking. So if you like this video, make sure you, uh, you know, click the like button and comment below. If you have any questions about it, make sure you leave that in the comments below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you're interested in any of our training, make sure you click the link below in the comment, or sorry, in the description, and you'll get all the different uh, training programs that we have and website. Until next time, we'll see you real soon.